The year was 2002. Melissa Carter, then a rising media star in Atlanta, was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease and needed a transplant. The Tennessee native and graduate of the University of Tennessee had migrated to Atlanta to pursue a broadcasting career and landed a job as a co-host on Q100's The Burt Show. It would become the number one radio program in the city, and Carter would make history when she came out as the market's first openly gay morning radio host. Carter is an active advocate for the LGBTQ community, serving as a columnist for the Georgia Voice and sitting on Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms' LGBTQ advisory board for the city of Atlanta. In 2006, her leadership was honored by the Human Rights Campaign. You're not familiar with Chris Rainbow House. They take care of homeless gay teenagers who were kicked out by their family because they are gay. So these kids told the truth and they got punished, just like Beck. And I wanted them to be here tonight to show that they can be rewarded for telling the truth. Following her life-saving transplant, Melissa joined the regional board for the National Kidney Foundation and established the Melissa Carter Transplant Fund at Atlanta's Piedmont Hospital. Now Melissa is a mother and was inspired to publish a children's book entitled Whale of an Idea. Carter is also a champion of women's causes using a variety of media platforms to raise her voice to help other women find their voices. Hi, We're I'm Jane Hockney. <laughs> and my name is Melissa Carter. How are you? How Hi, is everybody? Friend. Earlier this year, Carter launched a new podcast, Frenzy, with friend and fellow Burt Show alum, Jen Hobby. Melissa's loyal listeners can expect Frenzy to be fun and entertaining, yet enlightening and inspirational. She simply knows no other way. We're celebrating Women's History Month with Melissa Carter.